What's up, my dudes? It's Lord Jukes here, and you're on episode three. Um, episode three, what can I say about episode three? Well, you know, episode one, four uniques. Episode two, ranges at 11kc. Episode three, there is absolutely no way I can follow that up. So, you know, we're not going to get any insane drop. Actually, there is one thing that happens that's quite insane, but you'll have to wait to see that. Um, but yeah, we make some incredible gains during this video. Incredible gains. You know, we're working towards the Barrows gloves. Uh, as you can see up there, we're working towards the fire cape. And at the end of this, I'm even going to include a small guide on how not to do grotesque guardians. You know, you always see guides on how to do stuff. What you really need to see is how people fuck up and how you should not fuck up. Um, so I'm going to have some clips at the end which basically show parallel side by side how to not do it and how to do it. So uh, as you can see in the background here, very little supplies in this fire run, so I had to start flicking, and I'm not the best at flicking, I'm not even real flicking, lazy flicking. Um, and basically my, my main man, Anchovies, he joins the call to, you know, hype me up for this fire cape, and uh, he ends up, well, just, just watch what happens. What range level are you? 78, I think. Oh my. Dude, I, this has been very intense. Uh, I did not. <laughs> I don't... Oh crap, is that on me? <laughs> <laughs> that was all good. What happened? I just missed oh, a flick, I guess. Yeah, so that completely wasn't my fault. Anchovies, fuck you if you're watching. That is all your fault, you know. Um, I never miss flicks. You know, I'm, I'm the perfect gamer. So anyway, we start Desert Treasure. Luckily, we uh, get the old cross in the first inventory of lockpicks. Uh, we get one diamond, we get two diamonds, we get three diamonds, we get four diamonds, and bam! Desert treasure is done. Nice, Oyskin. That's a big ass quest. And Raz was right, once again, that quest had a huge badonk donk, you know that? But now we had to do other little shitty quests so that we could do Recipe for Disaster. Starting with this one, which is probably one of the spookiest quests I've ever seen in the game. I don't think they exist. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 oh, is that his son? That's fucking gross. Fuck me, his son is fucking ugly. Anyway, so, you know, we got that quest done, we got uh, the giant dwarf quest, and uh, we got a pretty big unlock, actually. Whoa, wow, I can make steel chain bodies now. So riding on the high from all of those quests, um, all the boys teamed up, and well, boys and Mira, actually, teamed up, and we thought we'd go to Bandos. Uh, so we're kind of in this predicament at the moment where it's like, you know, we can do Bandos, but we kind of have really shit gear, so the kills are incredibly slow. Like, look at the beginning of this kill, zero, 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 zero. It's just, it's absolute pain. Uh, but luckily, we've got Rasmus on our team. I don't know if you know the history of our team, but basically, Rasmus has got through quite a few people, and me and Deech have recently joined. Mira's been in there for a while, and Million's been in for a little bit longer than me. So luckily, we've got Rasmus, who can be our, like, designated tank. Um, but the problem is, you know, when that tank disappears, problems arise. Yeah, I'm telling you out, sorry. So put out as well. No, we can do it. <laughs> yeah, well we could uh that would be fine, we do. So yeah, it turns out tanking Bandos with 70 defense isn't a good idea, you know, who would have thought? Uh, so then we hopped over back to the main to do some Slayer, and I got a Chaos Fanatic task. I've never done Chaos Fanatic before, um, so I was kind of just making it up as I go along, but I know it's got similar mechanics to Chaos Elemental and that it takes off your shit, so my inventory is set up like this. I use Strawberries, because uh, you can empty the baskets and it can fill up your inventory, and that means that it can't take your items off. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know, I used this G-Teleport Garok, I don't know what the fuck that is, went there, and honestly I didn't even know where it was, like as you can see I was kind of just looking around, uh, and then I saw those pink things over there and I was like, oh yeah, must be over there. So um, yeah, I popped over there, I still to this day actually don't know what the mechanics are, oh yeah, I made sure to protect item because I'm pretty sure I was risking the Slayer Helm here, uh, I do not want to lose the Slayer Helm and get the imbue again. 
but yeah, I don't even know what those green things are. I'm guessing it's bad, um, but fuck knows. And also, when you go there, please remember to drink your ranging potion, because surely only an idiot would forget to drink their ranging potion, right? God. Um, so yeah, I was killing it, billing it, you know. That's how it goes uh, when you're killing Chaos Fanatic. Um, and then bam, this happens. Who'd have thunk it, right? 1k Seamal Addiction Shard. Um, certainly not me. Uh, so yeah, I, I think as well, like, there's no live reaction for this clip, because I think I was just in so much shock. Um, so yeah, I finished off the task and uh, got on with the next thing. Okay, so getting that Malediction Shard piece is kind of crazy, it caught, it caught me off guard. Uh, and now I think, hopefully we can get a good... That is not good. Oh, my points are so low. But... Whoa, 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 freeze frame. Do not skip the cow fight task. I'm about to say that I've done all the cow fight stuff. It's a cannibal task, it's fucking easy points. Like, why the fuck did I do this? Just, just don't do this if it's you. I already have KQ pet and I don't see. Actually, I could just do that as a quick task for fair. I will do that with squads. Uh, okay, so just finished up another slayer task. We're doing a bit of AFK and to get some levels up for Bandos on the game. Dark Beast, that's easy. But fuck Dark Beast, you know, we've got a a Bandos hilt to go get, so uh, yeah, we geared up, we got KC, we got down to Bandos with the boys. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I play on a Mac, um, which has its pros and its cons, mainly of which are cons, uh, but the main con is that the mouse doesn't take batteries, and the only way to charge it is through plugging it into the bottom. Do not fuck it, I'll, I'll put a picture up on the screen now of how it charges, but basically, I couldn't charge my mouse, so I had to like go out of ba my mouse just ran out of charge. I had to go out of Bandos, go get Casey again. Um, it was a whole kerfuffle, but basically, I will never be letting my uh, mouse run out of battery again, especially if it affects the amount of drops we get at Bandos. Um, but yeah, it was the same old story at Bandos. You know, I get back in, DH just tells me to hop. Oh, yeah, DH just changed his name at this point, in case you're wondering. That's I don't even know what his name means, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah. You know, we, we uh, got a kill, didn't get any drops. Uh, pretty classic, as uh, DH was to say. So yeah, we ended up tallying out, and um, just to show you at this point how many kills we got, uh, I think a million had like another five on top of that. Um, and you know, it really inspired me to do some more Nightmare Zone, because then I can imbue the B-Ring. What's hilarious though is I completely forgot, it's actually Mira's B-Ring, and I imbued it, and I fucking stole off her. Oops. So uh, yeah, we got back to the quest grind. I think at this point I was just doing quests that gave me a lot of quest coins because quest coins, what's a quest coin? Quest points. But look, bam, 175 quest points. Let's go finish Recipe for Disaster and get some Barrow's Gloves. Um, but what's even more hilarious is, you know, I recorded this part and then I just stopped recording. Um, just completely stopped recording. Have absolutely no idea why. But yeah, anyway, Barrow's Gloves completed. So we've now got the Barrow's Gloves done. We've got the Magic Arena 2 cape done. All that's left to do is imbue the Ring of Suffering. And now I'm just gonna briefly explain how many points we'll need from Nightmare Zone to get that and the B-Ring. So we're looking to get the Ring of Suffering, which is 725, which actually I thought was a lot higher. Oh my God, the B-Ring is 650. So that gives us a grand total of 650, of course we're going to have to get another 1.25 million for the um, Slayer Armour or the Black Masting Beat, but um, we'll do that when it comes to, I think at the moment, you know, we want to be doing Bandos with an imbued Berserker, we want to be doing Zora with an imbued Suffering. Obviously, I kind of need to get a fire cape as well, but I might do that today when Rasmus gets on, but for now, while I'm doing some YouTube stuff, like I've been making the YouTube channels there, I've been making the thumbnails and stuff like that, whilst doing all that, I might as well AFK at some, uh, at some Nightmare Zone. And that's exactly what I did, but why not while at Nightmare Zone go and do some grotesque audience? Because so, I had gargoyles, a task that I needed to finish off, and I kind of made this pact with myself earlier that I would go and do Grotesque Guardians if I get a chance of getting the pet. So if you look at my setup, you can't exactly see what I'm wearing, but I'm wearing carols and pegs and I've got a blowpipe and I've got my 
Max Melee, I've got some Dragon Claws for specking. I should have a Divine Super Combat, but I don't. I also should be teleporting here with a Slayer Ring, but at this point I didn't have a Slayer Ring. Uh, one thing I would say is I think you need to get a Shad Key, which you get from just doing uh, Gargoyles generally. So you will need that. Also, when you're going up here, make sure you pray mage, because sometimes Amber Inspectors can hit you. But luckily, this nice guy here was protecting me. But there was no one protecting me up here and any of these gargoyles could have hit me. So maybe whack on a prey from melee up here. So what you want to do is when you get the key, you'll use it on that gate. You'll unlock the gate and then you go up here. You go over to this rather large bell and you give it a little ding dong. Uh, I like to put on prey range before just in case. Uh, pop on your rigger and just run over to this spot here. The reason I got these tiles marked is because you can do this kind of cool thing. Also, watch out for that thing that just flew across because that king can freeze you and it kind of fucks you up. But yeah, if you go to that tile, wait for dust to hit you. And then if you step onto this tile, then he does this little dance on top of you and he can't actually hit you for ages. So you just, because um, you're not praying melee against him, you know, it's it's not good. But anyway, like I said, this was my first run and uh, I don't think I've done it in a good few months. So I was just picking it back up. And what you don't want to be doing is facing him when he's going orange because he'll fuck you up. And you also don't want to be around those shadows because they'll also fuck you up. And the problem is if you get stunned by one of those and then you get one of these, you know, it's not going to end well, basically. Um, so yeah, I think here's an example of me doing it right. So what you want to do is have a little dance on top of you, change your prayers, hit the spec, hit the spec, hit the whip once, hit the whip two times, hit it three times, and then step away two tiles, and you won't get hit by it. Just make sure you're more than two tiles away from any of those shadows, well, and you should be absolutely fine. Moving on to the next phase. Um, yeah, so the next bit that's coming up here is this is where like these whirlwind things come up. Basically, you don't want to be standing near them and changing your armor like I was just there. Because obviously, you want to be changing your armor to attack Dawn again for this phase. But if you stand next to any of those, you'll get hit constant damage and it kind of fucked. Next, it'll spurt out these little energy ball things. I actually never took the risk of not picking them up because I didn't know what would happen. I'm pretty sure also you can out DPS it if you've got enough range DPS, but I don't think I've got enough range DPS with a blowpipe. Um, so yeah, you do that, you're on to the next phase. Luckily, these little whirlwinds, they don't actually do anything. But Dust becomes enraged and he does this horrible thing. Yes, I just got one HP. If that does happen to you and there's one space up against the wall, just stand in that one space and it'll be fine. Here's an example of me doing it right. You just gotta run out and go and attack it. And it's pretty simple. Last phase, it's just like, it kind of um, does range and melee attack, so it can kind of fuck you up. Uh, I remember watching a guide initially when I started doing this, and in that guide it said, switch prayer with where, whichever one hits. So you can see that one with his hand, that's the range attack. When he swipes you, that's a melee attack. But, um, but yeah, he can jab you, so like, I don't know, I think you might as well just stick to one prayer and then it should be fine. Um, but yeah, that's basically Grotesque Guardians, like, uh, if you want to go watch an in-depth guide, go watch an in-depth guide, but, um, this is kind of just a basic outline, and I know what you're thinking, we've got 13 minutes into this video and there hasn't been a montage. In my first video there was four montages, what the fuck is going on? So, I'm gonna whip up a pretty tasty montage for you right now, so, uh, check it out. Stupid boy think that I need him. 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 Know you think about me in the shower, born up in your browser. 